So hi guys and welcome back. This is Everything is Awesome. This time back with another awesome video. And today I have a rather interesting unboxing to do. Um, this is my cat Smith in the background. Don't mind her. She could very well walk in front of the camera, but that's fine. We love cats. Anyway, so today uh, my mom and I were out and my mom's co-worker called and said that she was at a five below and they had the BTS Mattel dolls at the five below, so they're five bucks a doll. And keep in mind that typically, if you buy them from like Amazon or like Target or whatever, or like another retailer that prices them normally, they're about twenty twenty one dollars a piece, like a doll is twenty like twenty one dollars. So. There's been a huge, like, meme since they released that they don't look good at all. Um, the best one is probably Jimin and Namjoon because they look the most like themselves in real life, but they're really not that comparable. And they came out with fashion dolls from the other, um, from, uh, Love Yourself Answer photo shoot, and... It just wasn't right, like, it looked absolutely nothing like them, so, I already own, I already own Nam Junes. I paid him full price, and I got him a few months ago, and I paid full price for him, so, um, actually he was bought for me, I was going to pay for him, but then, um, he kind of got gifted to me in the end, but $21 I paid for Nam June. And I'm pretty sure I've uh, reviewed him in a video before, but I'm not exactly sure. But I will say that he does look pretty good. He, um, his lips and nose are really accurate, and so is his um, eyes. They got his monolid in there, and his uh, one of his dimples is there. The worst part is probably the hair about any of these, and the clothes look a little bit oversized. So. Right now, I'm going to go grab some scissors, and we're going to get to unboxing these. Alright, so I'm back, and I got some scissors here, so we're going to start opening these. So the ones that I got, again, I got them for $5 a piece, so I was able to grab four dolls. So I got four for the price of one. So first I have, I bought Jimin. So here he looks in the box. And here's the back. The back of the boxes all look the same, so I'm probably not just I'm probably not gonna show those. But I have the doll himself here. Next is Jungkook. So I have Jungkook. And the back is the same, so I'm not gonna show it for everyone. I have Hobie. And last, but definitely not least, the most memeable member is... I'm sorry about my cat. She needs to move out of the way. Okay. Taehyung. So... Look at his hair! I mean, I feel so bad for him, anyway. So, I'm gonna open the boxes off camera, and then I'll snip the cords and everything on camera, so... I'll go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, so all of the boxes are opened. Now it's just time to lift off the cover and snip away the cords and see what they look like and how they feel, and I'll give my personal opinion on them, and that'll be interesting. So first, we got JK. So we got Jungkook right here. And the way that I cut them, I just cut along the seam where the plastic attached to the cardboard. That way it didn't damage any packaging. So, let's see what we got here. It smells like a Barbie. Okay, low-key. Alright, so here's Jungkook. And he honestly... This is, a, this is so... Wow. I do like his shoes, though. They're, like, they're nice. His hair is off. 
it is rock it's almost like rock hard it's like they put so much gel in their hair to style it I mean they got his eyes pretty close his shirt's a little crooked but I mean what do you expect right all right let's snip the cords let's free our cook Project Free Cook. I'm not sure if the piece stuck in Namjoon's. It didn't stick in Namjoon's hair. So the plastic piece kind of stuck in his hair there. Oh, wait, I think it fell out. Oh, wait, no, it's still there. I don't really know how to get rid of that. I don't know. His hair hides it, so. Yeah, his rock hard hair, like, I swear. It crunches. Like, it feels like if you're putting hairspray in your hair and you put too much and it, like, it's crunchy and hard. That's what it feels like. It is so weird. So it's kind of swept back like this. This was how he came in the box, is his, uh, pose. Uh, his joints are a bit creaky, but that's okay, well... With use, with use, we'll fix that. Oh, I forgot that his feet were tied. They have so many restraints. Alright. There we go. So this is Jungwoo, and his... His suit is attached to his shirt here. And these are from the um, idol photo shoot, so they're in their outfits that they were in in the idol music video. So this is Jungkook. <laughs> He's got nice like joint movement and everything. There's nothing wrong with the doll. 2018 Mattel. <laughs> oh man. JK. <laughs> okay, next one. So there's. Jungkook, I'll put him over here to the side. And actually, I'll lay him back in his packaging. Of course, I have to put him back in his ridiculous pose. Alright. Beautiful. Just flabbergasting. <laughs> Alright, next is Jimin. Jiminy. Oh. Alright. He looks like this. So, in my opinion, I think that Jungkook looks. or er, not Jungkook. Jimin. I feel like Jimin looks most like himself. I know, again, that's just my opinion, but I seriously think that he looks the most like himself, like in real life. So that's that Jimin. Now let's snip his ties. Cause like, everything's accurate about him. Like his lips are accurate, his eyes, like his eye shape is accurate. Um, I feel like Jimin and, Jimin and Jungwoo, or no, Jimin and Namjoon, sorry. Jimin and Namjoon are probably the most accurate um, members here. It's annoying because they have like a tie. There's like a plastic thing on the back of their head. And you have to try not to cut their hair. It's annoying. It's really annoying, but anyway. All right, here's Jimin. <laughs> Alright. So I already took his tie. There was like something around his tie. I took it off already. And then I snipped his, um, the thing binding his shoes. He actually has the same shoes as RM. Yeah, he has the same shoes as RM, so. Look at him. 
Oh, wow, yes, and his hair is still rock hard, and he's, oh, yes. Look at that. It comes up in one whole piece. Love that. It's like rock hard. Like, look at that. It doesn't even budge. It just moves upward. All right. Actually, his face is the most accurate. Like. His forehead and chin are really accurate to him. Squish. <laughs> Love. Alright. And his pants aren't that oversized for him. That's Jimin. He honestly, like, these are honestly hilarious. Like, these are ridiculously hilarious. I don't even know what to say. Alright, next up we have J-Hope. So J-Hope is my bias record, so that's why when I was choosing which ones to buy this time, because I had $26 with me, and I had, I wanted to limit myself to four, so I only spent 20 bucks. So I'm still missing Jin and Yoongi, but I'll collect those two um, when I can. So I have J-Hope here. Hope right here. And let's see what he looks like. Alright, so he looks pretty sane. I mean, if you look at a picture of him, his eyes aren't exactly accurate, but... What's up with his foot? I mean, I hope he's practically boneless, so I mean, I can see his foot going that way, but... Alright, let's knock his ties out. So his hair, like his bangs, are like curled inward. It's weird. Just snipping Hobie out of his bounds. Alright. It's like nerve wracking. Yeah, I accidentally cut some of the hair. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. <sighs> Oops. It's okay, it's not that noticeable. Given the fact that the rest of his hair looks crazy too, it's really not that noticeable. Alright, here's Hobie. So, yeah, I mean, his face, uh, it's less accurate. I mean, it's not as accurate. I like his shoes. But, yeah. Hold on. One of the rubber bands, like, flew on the floor. Oh, he's hilarious. He's one of the lesser accurate ones. Like, I barely see a resemblance to Hobie at all. Except for the outfit, poor guy. <laughs> Alright. And last, but again, definitely not least, we have the memeable, hilarious... Kim Young, <laughs> and I feel so bad for him because he really got gypped in this collab he he got probably the most gypped out of all the members he seriously got I'm just not even gonna take the time to show him in his bindings I'm gonna unbind him and I'm gonna show him to the world I'm trying not to cut any of his obviously beautiful hair as I unbind his bindings. All right. This is just... Eh. I don't even know what to say. Like, low-key, what is this pose for one? What is this pose? Like, he's got the same shoes as Jimin and RM. And 
It's, it's just not it, Chief. I mean, look at his hair. His hair looks like they took plastic pieces and just adhered it to his head. Like, look at this. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Now, his face is okay. I think his chin is a little bit inaccurate. His lips are okay and his nose and his um, eyes. I mean, other than the fact that his hair looks crazy, his face doesn't look too terrible, but his hair ruins it. I'm sorry. He's probably the one that, like I said, got the most gypped out of this collaboration, and I feel so bad for him. I wonder what his reaction was when he first saw them, because I would have been like, wow. This is what they say is me? Like, what? So, this is kind of crazy, so I'll definitely upload a video when I unbox Shuga and uh, Jin, because Jin looked semi-accurate, and... Uh, Chunga didn't look too bad either. Um, but yeah, that's Tay. If you want to take any screenshots, do it now because he looks hilarious. Also, I forgot to mention, um, no copyright infringement intended and all rights go to the rightful places, obviously, of course. <laughs> he just looks hilarious. I can't get over him. And like, it's like they didn't even fully like hair his head. Look at the black separations on his head. It's like they didn't put enough hair on his head to cover up the, his scalp. It's... Alright, guys. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, I definitely did. I enjoyed making it because I got to laugh at Mattel's attempt to make BTS dolls. And I'll definitely come back with uh, Jin and Shugo when I get them because I'm planning now that I have like five of them I want to get the other two because why not and I'm gonna be displaying them so I'll show my display I guess at the end when I set them all up on my shelf so um like and subscribe and comment down below and tell me what you think about these I mean who do you think is the most accurate who do you think is the most inaccurate hair wise I think it's definitely Taehyung is the most inaccurate I don't think any of their hair is that fabulous, to be completely honest. I mean, I think all of their hair could use some work. Um, but yeah, I mean, I got these for $5 at 5 below, so, I mean, it, it, was, it, was, it wasn't that bad. I mean, I got four for the price of one, essentially. So, I got four for the price that I paid for Namjoon, so, you know, love that. So, yeah. So, yeah. I don't know how to do an outro, so. <laughs> Alright, so like and subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. So I um, took all of them out, and I put, laid them on my bed, and here they are. I should focus, there we go. Here they all are, and then I'm going to put them on my shelf, and I'll show you guys. Here they are. So I put them up on my lovely shelf. And they're sitting up there in age order for who I have so far. So, Hobie, Namjoon, Jimin, V, and Jungkook. And they're now on my shelf, the newest introduction to my BTS collection. Thank you guys so much for watching again, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.